Forrester is definitely beloved. I think that's a, a perfect word for it. For the people who work here, we know it's an honor, and all of us are aware of it. It's bigger than I ever thought it would be. Honestly, I'm still amazed we've been here a year. There were hundreds of people throughout Brown Foreman that made it happen. The fact that it was our founding brand and we didn't have a home place seemed like a, a big void uh, that should be filled. One of the things we wanted to do, we wanted to return to Whiskey Row. Brown Foreman had their headquarters in this very building uh, back in the 1800s and early 1900s. It is easy to build a distillery with nothing but a field to construct a building in when you are sandwiching yourself in a slot that you have no other options to grow outside of in the middle of downtown to come home to the same space we started in. I get a phone call from uh, a colleague, um, um, and he's like, hey, our building where the distillery is is on fire. Crews right now on the scene of a massive fire at a building along Whiskey Road downtown. Buildings built between 1852 and 1905, and now they appear to be close to crumbling, according to firefighters. Yeah, I mean, it's dramatic, and, and it is literally like watching a terrible movie. You know, what happens if the facade falls down? Where does that leave us? This facade is original. And that's, that's part of the why we're here. So much pride in that Whiskey Row area, Vicki, you know, and you hate to see something like that possibly be ruined. Uh, several historic buildings there. I kind of turn it off. I kind of go home. There's your project. I remember thinking, wow, this was going to be such a beautiful distillery and such a great opportunity to enjoy the resurgence of Old Forester, and it may never happen. It, it ended up, you know, being pretty, pretty bad, but uh, it could have been a lot worse. We knew that we were going to continue to build. It wasn't going to kill the project, but it certainly set us back by, you know, a year or more. I'm Shannon Kogan. Old Forester is back on Whiskey Row after a 94-year hiatus. Favorite part of the distillery? It's just the whole day on thing. It's been nonstop since the doors have opened. From June 14th to June 13th, we saw over 80,000 visitors. We sold over 22,000 bottles in the retail shop. We did over uh, 170 events. And when George's came online, uh, it was the first time that Brown Foreman had kind of opened a bar. We sold, I think, right around like 23,000 drink tickets. But it's not, they have the coolest gift shop or they've got the best cocktails even though we might, but that's not the point. The point is, is that there's something else on another level that's connecting you to the brand in a whole new way. The people, the people here are the ones that are keeping everyone coming back. They're so passionate about this. They know the story and now they're adding their own language to telling that story and it just comes alive in, in such a great way. George think, you know, 150 years later, I would imagine he'd be really thrilled uh, to see this. The way the team worked together so well is just a testament to the excellence that Brown Foreman focuses on. 
and ultimately the project is just a, a sort of a physical example of that. We know that we are part of the new story of this brand. We know that we are the new ambassadors for this brand. So the one year anniversary, I think we're doing it right. I think George would be proud. Quality and consistency above all else, no matter what, no shortcuts, everything done the right way and done in a modest fashion. So I think as long as we keep that mentality, George will be happy.